Hey, g'day guys, Nick Hill from Canine Care. In this video, we're talking about walking your dog. How often you should walk your dog? What walking your dog achieves? And simple things that you can do to get the most out of walking your dog. One of the things that we tend to do a lot on our walks is stop and have a good sniff. This particular lamppost here is our first lamppost on our walk, so it's always a good place to stop and check out what's been going on. We also like to hang around and just wait and be calm around all the traffic that's coming past. It's really good to teach your dog to be calm around traffic and just to wait and be patient. So why even actually walk your dog? Well, walking's important. It provides two main things. The first thing is mental stimulation. It gives their brain something to do, have a big sniff and just get around. And it also provides lots of appropriate physical activity. People need this as much as dogs do. So get your dog out for a walk, let them have a jolly good sniff around and stop and smell the roses. How often should you walk your dog? Well, it kind of depends on their age and their needs. Young puppies, you can over-exercise them if you're not careful. A good rule of thumb is about five minutes per month of life, up to about five months of age. So a good 25 minutes for a five-month-old dog. You're better off going out for a few shorter walks each day than one long one. So two walks a day is a good minimum. And when you get an adolescent dog with a lot of energy, you kind of want to get out for three walks a day. Helps them be a lot calmer. And obviously you've got an older senior dog, you've got to take it easy. They may have hip issues, they may have arthritis, they may not have the normal amount of energy that they usually would, so don't over-exercise them. It's always really good to spend a bit of time just sitting on busy corners with slow-moving traffic, getting your dog comfortable around waiting when they need to. There's no need to be in a hurry. Okay, let's go. So we've been walking for a while now on quiet streets low volume of traffic, moving at a low speed. These are nice, easy ways to introduce dogs to traffic. Go easy, go slow. Slowly progress to slightly busy roads, but don't go too mental. You can scare dogs, and then they become fearful of traffic. Come on, bub. Good girl, stay. So I'm happy that Shanti is standing here in a stay. She could sit, but she's really chilled out, so I'm happy for her to be in a stand. We're just waiting here. She's getting used to traffic. She's getting used to waiting. And when you stop and wait and relax at the end of roads before you cross them, it normalizes that behavior for your puppy. So it's a really good thing to do. All right, we do our green cross code, and we'll go, okay, bub, let's go. Da -da. Definitely much busier street, higher volume of traffic, moving faster, and a big variety of vehicles. You notice that big bus that went past. And here we've got a big line of traffic coming up. Now Shanty's not bothered about this at all, but she has been walking out on the streets like this since she was a little girl, and she's seven years old now, so she's well socially adjusted to these environments. Come, Baba. Good job. So the more you do sit and stay and wait on the corner of the roads, the more it comes a normal behaviour for your dog. By the time you've done it a hundred times, they'll have half an idea. By the time you've done this a thousand times, they'll do it without thinking, which is a great way to have your dogs behaving. Okay, Baba. One of the most important things about walking your dog is understanding it's, it's their walk and it's not yours. If you're trying to do your 8,000 steps for your keep fit and you're in a hurry to get somewhere and get back, don't take your dog. When you walk your dog, take time, stop and smell the roses, maybe have a bit of a poo and don't forget to pick it up. And that way you enjoy your walk a lot more. Good job, Papa. There are no poo fairies, pick up your poo. So here's a little thing guys, the tempo at which you walk is kind of relevant. Dogs have different tempos, some dogs walk naturally a bit quicker than others and some dogs are a bit more relaxed and walk a bit more slowly 
and they might walk more slowly when they're a bit tired. And here's my top tip. If you're going out for a walk, expect your dog to be pretty energetic for the first 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes, and expect to stop a lot when they pull. Um, but ten, spend time stopping like this and they'll enjoy the walk and they will calm down. And on the second half you walk, they'll be a lot more relaxed. So just expect them to be busy brain when you start and full of energy and to relax a bit as you finish your walk. It's good. Okay, let's go. One of the biggest mistakes I often see clients make is that they're in too much of a hurry. They're rushed, we're all busy. You've got half an hour to walk your dog and you have this idea that you must get them to the park and get back within that time. So if you're in a rush to get somewhere, you're not gonna have any time to stop when your dog pulls and you're not gonna have to any time to stop when they wanna have a sniff because you're in a rush rush. So don't be in a rush. My best advice, morning walk, make it about a social experience and some training. Take your treats out and let your dog experience a bit of life. And when they want to have a bit of a gentle sniff, let them stop and have a sniff. It's much more enjoyable for them and it's much more relaxing for you. Good girl, Bubba. Okay. And here's a little thing. Before I cross the road, I always get Shanty to look up at me. That way, I know I have her attention. The other thing is, when I'm crossing a road, I always want Shanty to be right next to me, a bit like she is here. But when I'm just having a bit of a sniff walk, I'm really happy for her to be anywhere on the periphery of the lead. I don't care if she's out in front of me. I don't care if she's behind me. And um, it's a much more relaxed walk that way. So, in hill position, crossing busy roads, going past people, all those sorts of things. And the rest of the time, just chillax about your walk and enjoy it. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, throw me a like, leave me a comment. I don't get paid to make these videos and YouTube put a lot of ads on my channel, which is a bit annoying. So let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.